Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I want to show you my ice maker. Uh, it's not necessarily for drinks, but for other usages. Like um, eye bags, you know, well, your eyes here. And then on the bottom you might have um, uh, eye bags. So these are the largest cubes. And then they're not really cubes, but they're ice, um, is ice cubes. But uh, here, so these are the mid size, and these are the small size. And the way to adjust these are here large, small. The small one takes approximately 10 minutes, the mid size takes approximately 12 minutes and the large size is 15 minutes per deck so it's not per tray it is per deck um, this deck here um, it's a water bucket and then they have the freezing cold um, aluminum stainless steel yeah stainless steel it is and it twists to uh, counterclockwise and then the ice cubes uh, fall down. If you don't call these ice cubes, I would say uh, icicles, tips, icicles, yeah. And the way it works is that um, I usually simply pour uh, water through this tray and from the corners it drips down and it recirculate from the back and up to the tray and uh, freeze to ice uh, ice pieces and then uh, as far as uh, energy consumption I would say it is uh, 15,000 watts um, and uh, there is a hole here that goes uh, to the back and circulate up right upwards and usually I leave the cover open and pour it out from here the extra water um, let's show you the back and I have to turn this off because sometimes if it's not leveled um, it might uh, burn so to speak um, and as far as the electrical um, I have another electrical up here, but I don't use it every day uh, because of the energy consumption. And um, if it doesn't turn on properly all the time, only the LCD panel, then I usually restart the switches at the fuse box. Uh, the fuse box is usually uh, in the kitchen in the United States near the back door yeah so let's show you the back alright let's just uh, be careful and uh, I'll take the risk that it might burn a fuse or something uh, but let me pick up the ice tray it has an ice scoop and uh, it is foldable but I don't use it often so the water is still down there uh, you can feel the, the freezing cold uh, uh, air uh, what else I can tell you about this is that um, the size of the compressor for these uh, ice maker is probably the same size as a refrigerator and it is not um, as slow as a freezer compartment of the uh, refrigerator because it is more focused to freeze only the stainless steel deck area. Deck spells uh, D E C K. Um, show you show you the back. Be careful when you hear that kind of noise. It might blow. So that's where the tube is, and 
and then you see that um, rubber part, that's where you can leak out water probably. The uh, serial number and uh, barcode for inventory and uh, electrical standards and uh, the wiring for the uh, electrical uh, uh, main board so to speak. Alright, and it is uh, CCC uh, certified and the tinking noise is probably um, the compressor rattling. Yeah. So let's put it back to level. Put it down. Put it back up. So I know what the problem is. It is um, the tube on each side of the compressor. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's open this. And uh, excuse the uh, mess. Let me get my screwdriver. Okay, so it's been seven minutes. And you're supposed to have a tray. And I'll lift this. This is the fuse. That's the compressor. So it is a big compressor for freezer. Uh, that's the blower. This is the fan blower. That is the radiator. The main board is. Where's the main board? All right. The main board is probably here. Uh, it is very uh, dangerous to uh, take apart everything when it is operating. So, just to see, this rubber here is definitely water going up. Uh, black wire is ground wire. Uh, the others are all uh, electric uh, wiring that you can use a uh, fuse, uh, not fuse, but the light tester. Um, that's uh, pretty much it. The motherboard must be inside, but if you take this apart, you can see the cover, uh, the fabrication of the cover is glued here. And the gluing part is either to oh, the glue the glue part is to seal the seam here. These two, this panel and this panel. So with a mirror, you can uh, look at it. Uh, so if I want to take this apart, it will be uh, these screws 
and then these cortex screws. So that's enough. Uh, oh, there's a transformer here that might have a motherboard inside. Excuse me, the main board inside. Uh, what else does this thing have? So there might be a double transformer. Dual. Yeah. But that's how it works. And, um... This might not be water coming out. This is just, uh... Something else. This might be loop, lubrication, or water. It's not oily, so it's some kind of water outlet that I think that's yeah, water outlet. Hey, come back in. <laughs> nice. Um, these wires, you can always wire your own if you are doing your own repairs, but it is not always the best uh, solution because you can build a relationship with the manufacturer or the service uh, company, the distributor or the retailer. The thickness of the wire is how much it can handle the power. That's all. And a lot of times, if you take your machine to the shop, they'll disconnect your blower fan so that it might burn easier and it won't be too uh, longer lasting. And that's kind of... Uh, marketing or service way that they push more sales is a sell tactics but uh, sales tactic but uh, let's not get into that I don't do that uh, that's all so sometimes you have to know exactly what you're doing and let's put this back and usually I would mark um, the date I had uh, ch checked the machine and hopefully, you know, sometimes I go back to the same shop, I can have a little chat with them. Oh, by the way, there's two more screws here. So this is to uh, stabilize the top, and you can see the thickness is uh, definitely a stabilizing arm. And this is to, co to uh, connect the two, one, two panels. Uh, and there are more screws here underneath. So that's the design. Uh, but let's wipe this. Uh, it's not a good idea to uh, touch um, rusted um, pieces. So, there it is. And the screws. And I had uh, broken this part here. But it's not too big of a problem. I'm not staying here for long. So this goes on the bottom and this. That's all. And you screw it back and I'll show you what you might be able to do with the ice. Uh, do you remember the California Ice Bucket Challenge? I think it was reflecting uh, a discovery that I have found. If you use ice, so instead of uh, ice cubes, when you have a lunchbox size like this, I put my uh, hygiene product sometimes. You can uh, put it into a freezer, water level approximately this, this high, put it into a bucket, your head, turn upside down, dip it in. For some reason, your hair would um, harden. So you get a better, harder uh, texture, hair texture. So you can try that. All right, all right, ciao.